Call it the end of a legacy. Governor Butch Otter makes a stop to a rural town in Idaho. Capital for a day is meant to give citizens a voice about a range of topics. Six on your side, Santa Silver went to Governor Otter's last one today in his hometown. Governor Otter has visited more than 100 towns in Idaho, which are named Capital for the Day. Otter's last one holds special significance. A hometown uh, in Star. This is my second Capital for a Day in Star. The program gives citizens outside of Boise an opportunity to ask questions and discuss ideas. It's kind of like uh, open a box of Cracker Jacks. You never know what the prize is going to be. Otter says not all of of them have been easy and some have been surprising. Northern Idaho is way up north, uh, population 107. We had 350 people show up. And so, uh, and I got, and, and I uh, only missed the mayoral vote by a couple of votes. Otherwise, I could have been elected mayor of Nordman, Idaho. And many positive. I, I think it's, I just think it's a great program. It gives us an opportunity to reach out uh, and, and touch the citizenry. Uh, let them bring their problems to us. For Otter, a highlight of his career. Obviously, this is one of the things that has been very successful. Uh, you know, only history is going to, only the future is going to decide what my real legacy is. Uh, there's some things that I think it should be, but uh, whatever has been successful and will continue on, uh, if it continues on into the future, then that becomes a legacy. Anna Silver, six on your side. And a reminder that Governor-elect Brad Little's inauguration is set for Friday, January 4th, followed by his first State of the State address the following Monday. What